Uh, yeah, they they uh, they made a bunch of plays and credit them. Um, they executed. Uh, we had a really tough time defending them, and their players made big shots. Yeah, we just kind of had some bad possessions. Um, you know, uh, we, we, for whatever reason, we couldn't get to the free throw line, okay? You know, 31 free throws to eight, and four of those were in the last two minutes. So I can't really answer that other than, you know, we were attacking the basket and really, you know, tried to, um, you know, get to the free throw line as well. And uh, but we just we couldn't we couldn't finish and uh, we just kind of had a little bit of a drought. I thought we got some some good looks um, and then you know just put a lot of pressure on our defense. Coach, it seemed like emotions were big. Not really, not really. You know I think that it's postseason play. Um, you know we've got a really really good team and. Um, um, I expected uh, in, to play in the NIT and it not feel like a guarantee game, but it felt like one. And I'm not afraid to say that. 31 free throws to eight. So I, I was just disappointed because our guys uh, have had a special season. I thought we earned the opportunity to be on this floor. Um, but, you know, they'll have to be evaluated. Maybe there's a reason they're officiating in the NIT and not the NCAA tournament. But. It is what it is, 31 to 8. I feel bad for our guys. But it was really disappointing. It was a really disappointing um, for that big of a discrepancy. Uh, and especially four of them were in the last two minutes. So, you know, what do you want to say, 26 to 4? It wasn't very consistent. Um, and that's disappointing because we, we've got a really good team. We've won 27 games. You don't trip down the sidewalk in the 27 wins. But, wow, it felt like that they paid us to come down here. Coach, one of the bright spots is, was the, the energy in the, in the room today. Yeah, tremendous, tremendous. And I told our guys that they, they, they did that. Right, uh, that this group has done it better than it's ever been done at App State. Program record 27 wins, uh, first regular season championship in 46 years, first ever Sun Belt. They hung banners, and that'll hang forever. But I also told them that you know they earned the respect and love from our fan base. We've got one of the most passionate, best fan bases out there, and we showed it tonight. I thought our fans were awesome. It was awesome. Coach, how much of a, a, a yeah, he had some big ones, and some of them turned into three-point shots. Um, but uh, you know, he, he's he's a good player, and uh, you know, certainly we tried to, to trap some. We didn't feel like we could do that the whole game. Um, somewhat effective at times, but you know, certainly he he's a good player. And he made some good plays. Yeah. But it seemed like both you and Wake Forest wanted to play this game. Yeah. And oh, absolutely. Hard. Yeah, absolutely. And and I want to say that something about that because for us playing in the NIT, like that's that shouldn't be the narrative that some teams declined. There's probably like three or four, okay, and they would have to answer that. But but the 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 idea that 20 teams declined is not true. You know, they, 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 there are some teams that wanted to, to act like they declined because they weren't going to be selected, right? But, yeah, I think there were three or four. But that, that, that narrative's got to move on. Uh, this is postseason. The NIT is a prestigious tournament. It's an awesome tournament. Um, if, if you really look back, you know, Baylor went, uh, went on to win a national championship. Texas, like, I could keep going and going. This is a prestigious tournament. I thought both teams want to be a part of it. But I think, th I think there's really too much uh, narrative that all these teams didn't want to play. Uh, that ain't, that's not true. Coach, how do you build off this historic season? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, we've got a lot of those guys in that locker room, um, you know, certainly hurting. But I told them that um, instead of being sad, let's be happy that it happened. 
instead of being sad it's over, let's be happy that it happened because uh, this team will be brought back 15 years or 20 years and celebrated at a football game uh, because it's the most wins in program history. And so this group, I think, has is, is really raised the standard. And, uh, uh, you know, I think we've got a lot of pride in our, in our program, and we're excited to keep building it. John, what, what are your thoughts? I mean, yeah, for me, it's just, you know, a lot to be happy for. Um, you know, I decided to come back this year for my fifth year, and, you know, I pretty much exceeded all of my expectations. So just from a personal standpoint, I mean, yes, the season didn't end the way we wanted it to, but it's nothing for me to really hang my head about besides the fact that I can't spend that time with my brothers anymore. John, in your time here at App State, you've been to the NCAA tournament, now then. Looking forward, uh, how do you hope the culture around App State basketball changes in the direction? Yeah, I mean, we've already changed it. Um, just coming from my freshman year to now, just looking at everything we've done, you know, like you said, going to the tournament, you know, even having a winning season when we first got here, that was something that, you know, didn't happen for a long time. So just, I, I would say we already changed the culture. And, you know, Coach Kearns does a good job of recruiting guys who, you know, fit in that culture. And I just think it's only going up from here. Coach, to point about the No, no, no. I thought they came out with great energy. I thought they came out ready to play. Yeah, and I thought they, I thought they played well. And I think that you have to play well to beat us. And um, I, I'm not taking anything. They, they played well. They played a really good game. They made plays. But no, I thought they came out with great energy and ready to play. And I knew that because they've, this is a prideful program and, and I, we, we expected them to come out ready to go. Uh, you're trying to make me cry, right? Um, I, I already just shed some some tears. You know, I think Donovan um, is on the Mount Rushmore of upstate basketball, and um, you know, I think that his resume speaks for itself. You know, he is the cornerstone of turning the direction of the program around. Um, once again, this is his third postseason, and the program's only had seven postseason appearances, and so. Um, but most importantly, a wonderful person. Uh, he's going to go on and be a great professional basketball player. Uh, he's going to go on and be an incredible husband, father, a uh, member of his community. Um, and, you know, he's a great reflection of his parents. Uh, he comes from a wonderful family. Um, I could go on and on, right? And, uh, you know, he's special. And... I'm really going to miss him. I'm probably frame it, hang it up somewhere. <laughs> we'll get it to him. Any more questions? No. Thanks.